This is Dave at Russo's RV Center in Lakeville, Massachusetts. Today I'm looking at a 2023 19 FDS Geo Pro. This is the Murphy bed model with a kitchen slide out. This is the 2023, so there's going to be some changes on this, some new standard features. We're going to point them out as I go through. The optional front bike carrier comes on this unit. You can fit two bikes on there. Power front jack, two 20 pound LP bottles. There's room for two batteries there. Two standard size deep cycle batteries. I haven't talked about this in a while, but I do love this little feature that they have where you can put the chains right there and then put your seven way plug. I don't wanna forget that. Underneath the propane is the battery disconnect switch. Right under docking lights. Nice bright LED light strip. Very similar to the 19FD storage wise. You have this front compartment, same thing on the other side. Not a big storage area, but pretty tall. And then underneath the sofa, right next to it, you have this pass through. So you can access that from the inside or you can go from either side on these compartments. Potable water fill right next to that. This particular model came in with a dry weight of 3476. The unit is 20 foot 2 inches. That's from the tip of the hitch to the back of the camper. I believe that's a little different uh, from last year's model, 2022, so we'll have to look into that a little bit more about what changed. We have a fresh water pull valve. It's very convenient if you ever had to deal with the old style where you had to crawl under there and um, unscrew something to get the fresh water. It was terrible. So glad they have that. You can see the spare tire hanging up tight underneath. And that's the tube for the waste hose. Off-road tires, those became standard a few years ago. They have remained standard. And what makes it the FDS is the slide out. So different from the FD, you get a little bit more a little bit more, not a ton, but you get a little bit more storage. See that? Take what you can get, right? As much as you can. Easy to access pull valves. Gray on the left, black on the right. Currently, um, manual stabilizers are the only the only option on the Geo Pros. I think they're probably gonna keep them that way. Three quarter inch socket on a cordless drill does wonders for these. 30 amp inlet for your electricity 25 foot power cord comes with the camper new on the 2023 is this hitch receiver 300 pounds ladder is another standard feature that's a walkable roof get up there and clean that roof at least once a year if not twice a year check those seals you're looking for cracks any signs of drying you don't want to replace those seals once you notice that they're drying and cracking little hose hookup and your main water hookups. Black tank flush, city water, and antifreeze inlet. Cable satellite, it's actually satellite cable right there. Very important if you're gonna use the tank flush, the black tank flush, you gotta keep the black valve open while you're doing that because if you don't, pressure builds up and if somebody goes to flush the toilet it will explode in their face, and we definitely don't want that to happen. A little bit more storage. Most of these are not huge storage compartments, but you add them all together, you get a decent amount of outside storage on this unit. Gas electric, six gallon water heater, and then the griddle will mount there with a small table on that rail, and the griddle hooks up to that gas line. Camper, the body, about 19 feet or so, and the awning goes most of that distance. Just wanna focus on this for a second, just to see standard features and the construction. Pause the video here, you wanna look at all these. The 2023 Geos are coming standard with a 200 watt solar panel, but you also have the option for additional solar that you can plug in on the side, a solar suitcase. Or you can get another 200 watt panel 
mounted on the roof from the factory or the dealer can do it after the fact as well. And if you get the power package, which comes with lithium and the soft start AC and the 3000 watt inverter, then you would get three 200 watt solar panels. I believe they would mount three for you just from the factory without getting the power package, but uh, you may wanna check with uh, your dealer or rep just to see if they will do that because that's not listed on the option sheet, but sometimes they'll do that and they can do a little bit of extra for you. The screenshot feature, so the door comes loose. You can see that it just pulls itself closed. It's a little thing, but I like it. Let's head inside and check her out. I was wondering with the 2023 with a 32 inch standard TV, where are they going to put the TV in the 19FD? Well, they got it right next to the door, right over the dinette. So watching it from the sofa, nice big TV, easy to see. Maybe you can even watch it from the dinette and get even, even closer. Just make sure nobody's right behind you. And the TV is also a radio and you can play um, through your phone or device with Bluetooth right through the TV. One thing I didn't really emphasize in the previous video on the 2023 20 FPS is these are real wood cabinets now. In the last couple of years, the cabinet doors, I will say if I had one real complaint about the Geos was the cabinet door construction. They had these dovetails like in the corners here and it was like a composite material. And we had quite a few customers coming back to us and they needed replacement cabinets and it was kind of a pain. But Rockwood smartened up a bit and made them real wood cabinets and they look much sturdier than what was there previously. This is going to be the new color for the interior cabinets and the new floor pattern, new color on there, as well as the furniture. It's all like, it's all close to the 2022, but a little bit different. I, I prefer this. I actually prefer the feel of it too, this material. Still easy to clean. It's not a fabric or anything, but it's just nice. It has a, like a plush, soft feeling to it. FD and the FDS have the Murphy bed. So it's going to be the same exact setup here, whether you're talking about the FD or the FDS. I like the look of the new interior, especially when the bed is up. I think it, it just matches well with the cabinets and with the furniture. It's a lot more attractive to look at than the 2022 and previous model years, I think. Personal preference, but I think it does look pretty great. We'll look at the bed when it's down in a little bit and show you the dinette as well when the dinette is turned into a bed. On most of the 2023 Geos, they're going to make the gas oven standard, but on the FDS, they've gone ahead and made the convection microwave standard, the 12 volt fridge remains standard back in 2020 we know that there were some shortages of these but that is not an issue at least it hasn't been for the last year or so and that should continue to be the case oh that's the cover for the the sink it just fits right over and unrolls on the sink Tire pressure monitoring system. The tires already come with the sensors and you just have to set it up. Real easy and this new display is a lot easier to deal with than the previous model when it comes to the tire pressure monitoring system. One last look at the fridge. You can make good use of that space even though it's, a, it's about a five cubic foot fridge. Oh, that's a styrofoam, you don't need that. You need to keep that cold. And fridge controls are just on this dial. Kind of hard to see, but I think it's one to seven, seven being the coldest. There you can see it on. Dry your dishes. Three burner gas cooktop. A couple of new things here. A digital thermostat for the air conditioner. Great feature. Kind of a sneaky great feature on the previous models the ac controls 
they were right at the AC, a couple of knobs just on the AC, but there wasn't any temperature setting. So you just kind of had to guess like what temperature or how cold you want it to be. But now you actually have a thermostat and you can control that. You have a lot more control over that. And also a switch for the fridge, power switch for the fridge. So no, no need to wonder if your fridge is on or off. There you go, right there. Refrigerator power switch. Similar to the 20 FBS, there's some changes in the bathroom from the previous year. We have that square, well, it's actually a rectangle shaped sink uh, counter top. They made the above, they got rid of the, like the linen closet and gave you shelf space instead. But you have those, um, you have those cabinets next to the either side of the bed for clothes. So a little bit more shelf space and a medicine cabinet above the toilet. Big shower, plenty of room in there. You can turn around in there. <laughs> Most of us anyway, we'll be able to turn around in this shower space. Shower miser is still a standard feature where you can shut off uh, the water to the shower head so that it just cycles back through the system until the water is warm enough so that you're comfortable. This will actually turn like a white or clear to tell you that the water is warm enough and then you just turn the valve the other way and you're ready to use the shower. All right, let's set up the bed. The bed is down. You see how the straps are when you make the bed, you can just strap it up and then unstrap it when you're ready to use it so that those sheets don't fall down when you lift the bed up. You still have some room to get by if you wanna leave the bed down you don't feel like putting it up and down every day. You can just leave it down. And here's the dinette in the sleeping position. Quick overview of the storage inside. Either side of the bed, you can hang clothes. Under the sofa, you have storage room. And those seats still, um, the leg supports still come up, just like in the 2022s. I mean, you got space here for traveling, like storage under there for when you're traveling, you could fit some stuff under there. And then there's four cabinets, but it's just one space that goes across the top. Small storage compartment above the sink, and below the sink. And we saw the bathroom earlier for that additional storage. Now I'm going to bring the slide room in and just see what we have to work with. This is the Schwintech slide. I think we're gonna lose access to the bathroom. So one advantage of the FD over the FDS for somebody who really puts a high priority of getting in and out of the bathroom while you're traveling would be access to the bathroom. So you do lose the ability to to open this door without putting the slide out. It's very close, but yeah. You'd have to put the slide out to get in the bathroom. And, and Schwintech does recommend that you put the slide out all the way. It's not a huge slide, so probably in a lot of cases it wouldn't be a big deal to put it out all the way, but yeah, you'd have to put that slide out to get in there. You could still, in a pinch, you could sleep here if you needed to sleep for the night but you would definitely not be able to put the bed down, but you would be able to sleep on the couch. So somebody could be on the couch and, you know, I'm gonna try some. I never did this before, let me see. Oh, look at that. So you can put the couch down into a bed and put it like a jackknife sofa setup. So you, you do have sleeping on the couch and the dinette for traveling purposes. All right, this 19 FDS is in stock. It is a 2023 at Russo's RV Center in Lakeville, Mass. Have a great day.